Well, happy Monday everybody. Good morning and welcome to the start of another week on another beautiful day in another beautiful spot. And if you didn't uh, know any better, you'd say that life is good. Which brings us to this morning's little talk. The next uh, descriptor of the fruit of the Spirit is this word, good. It's a funny word, good. What does it mean? What does it mean to you when you hear the word, good? You know, we sometimes say to our, particularly our dogs, good boy, just before they tear up the carpet. Or uh, we know what a, we tell our children, be a good boy or a good girl. And um, immediately they'll go to any lengths they can to not be good. I just wonder what we think the word good is because I think man's understanding of the word good is completely different to what God says good is. And to illustrate that, when God created the heavens and the earth and everything in them, at the conclusion of each day, he said it was good. At the conclusion of the sixth day, he said it was very good. So obviously, from that, God has a standard of what good is. We're told uh, by by, uh, Jesus in Mark, as the young ruler runs up to him and calls him good teacher, Jesus says, why do you call me good? Only, Only the Lord is good. And also, we're told that In Psalm 34, we had a taste and to see that the Lord is good. So what is this good? Well, if God has a definition of good, then man must have a definition of good because whatever God has, we try to, Satan gets us to try and counteract. And so it takes us back, like I said, to creation. God said that it was all very good. But then in somewhere after that, in the Garden of Eden, mankind decides what is good. It records that Eve saw the fruit and saw that it was good for knowledge and wisdom. It was good to taste. It was good. It was good. And we can see from that decision, that decision then followed on to Adam making an even worse decision to plunge, to sell humanity into the hands of Satan, to ignore God. And so man's understanding of good completely changed. It was good for what he saw in his own eyes, for what man perceived to be good. You know, when they, when they were looking for a king, their first king, it was, they thought it was good that this guy looked better than everybody else and he stood heads and, and head and shoulders above everybody else. When Lot and Abraham parted ways, Lot went to the place he thought was good because of, it was close to the city and, and, and the nightlife and all those sorts of things. And so we as humans have this perception of good that we see through our eyes without considering what God might think is good. And so from that fateful decision in the Garden of Eden, man has continually had a very bad understanding of what good is. God's good is good. It it holds his righteousness, his compassion, his love, his mercy. As I said, Psalm 34 says, Come, taste, see that the Lord is good. It's a challenge to reach out, to read into the Bible, to connect with God and see, is he really good? You know, we have that saying in our, in our churches that you'll hear people say, God is good. And they respond with all the time. And all the time, God is good. Hard to imagine when you're going through a crisis, isn't it? Hard to imagine when things look bleak and tough and terrible. But God is good, but not by our human definition or our human measuring scale. God is good because he says he is good. And one day, if this is even a sentence, God is going to make it all good again. But in the way that he decides and sees fit. Not in what we think or imagine it might be like. God will always be good. And the fruit of the Spirit challenges us to embrace the good or the goodness of God 
Remember, it's the fruit of the Spirit. So this is what God's character is built like. He is good. Let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for this opportunity this morning to be here at the beach and in the trees and just to feel that good sunshine, the good air, but most of all to connect with you, God, because you are good. So we pray, Lord, that as we pursue after this, as we try to gain an understanding of what the fruit of the Spirit entails, I pray that as we reflect upon good today, may we turn our hand to good. And may we respond the way that you would respond. Lord, I pray for a blessing upon all of us today as we embrace you and we embrace others around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, my friends, I hope you have a good day. I hope it's a great day. Until we see each other tomorrow, take care, God bless, and Get out there and enjoy the day because it is good. I'll see you tomorrow.